So what's going on? We are at Best Buy. Um, my other partner in crime, she's back with me. Subscribe some videos to me and Daddy's channel. Yeah, do that. And um, it's a Tuesday as usual, and yep. I'm not gonna pick up a lot of stuff because there's not really much that actually dropped. No, you wanna be? There's not really much that actually dropped today, but I gotta get the whopper of a film yep. quick four. So I'm gonna go in here and get it, and we'll see what else is on the shelves. So yep. let's go. Subscribe. Bye. Bye, YouTube channel. Hey. All right, let's see. What's that? Oh, it's a Western. I ain't really into Westerns like that, but, you know. Um, pretty much the same stuff as usual. <laughs> Not really diff that too different. Is this a steel book? Oh, that's nice. Not sure I want to pay 30 for that, but that is pretty nice. Nice. <laughs> Ooh. See, when I saw this, I was like, damn, I should have got the steel book instead of like the, the the one with the slip cover. I think this looks dope. But I'm cool. I don't feel like spending thirty five dollars, man. It still must be costing a lot. Pope's Exorcist. I didn't really care for this one, but I kind of want to give it another watch, just cause uh, maybe I feel like I was too harsh. I'm not gonna buy it though. I'll, I'll rewatch it first before I get it. But nice slip cover. You know, I actually have this, but I saw a steelbook recently that's way fire. And once I get that, I will be showing y'all because that joint, that joint is hard. Independence 4K. Why not? I don't have a slip cover, man. Damn. This I did not see last time. They have a whole 4K rack. Um, pretty much have all of these though, so. Yeah, I have everything over here, so I don't really need to look there. What is on the other side, though? Um, I already got moon full. Oh, this is fire. Even though I still like the version I got better with the split face, but this is pretty cool. Does Shop Factory do this? It's funny because the, the, the lettering right here looks like the Shop Factory. I like this a lot. I love this artwork. This artwork is pretty dope. Dang. I don't really want this, but I just think that this is a pretty cool looking slip box. And the artwork is pretty dope. Y'all should all know what I'm here to get, but I don't see what I'm here to get, which is kind of crazy. I don't see John Wick 4 anywhere. I think I'm going to have to ask the guy. This is the shit that I'm talking about when they don't put stuff out when they're supposed to put it out. Where the hell is it? <sighs> These mugs. So that's something that doesn't happen a lot. Um, this Best Buy was completely sold out of John Wick Chapter 4. <laughs> it's kind of crazy, so we're going to go to another... Can see something? Hey, subscribe. Hey. <laughs> so we're going to go to another Best Buy. Hopefully, I, I looked online and said they had it. So I'm going to get that. I'm, we're going to head there now. I hope they still have it by the time I get there because... I need this movie. Like, I, <laughs> I guess physical media ain't dead because of everything getting Ooh. bought up. So. Dyson and that word. Anyway, so we're at the second Best Buy. Let's hope that they have what I'm looking for. We'll see. All right, so we're at the second Best Buy, which is crazy. This is a nice slip cover for Dirty Dancing. That is tough. I love this way with this art. This is, that's I just love that stuff. Now let's go over here to see. And bada bing, bada bing, bada bing. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> yes, thank you. Pretty much as anything else, I'm gonna do some more browsing, but I got what I wanted now. The Steelbook released today, right? But I don't know, man. It, it looks too much like the regular cover. Like I was expecting some better art than this. I'm not fancying that, so I didn't purchase it. Like they can do they can do better than just putting the poster on there, man. Come on. Come on, Best Buy with the exclusive steelbooks. Come on. So over here. I'm so mad. I have this movie, but I bought it pre-order, I think, when it first released, and it didn't come with a slip cover. I damn near want to rebuy it just to get the slip. A lot of people didn't like this movie, but I enjoyed the hell of it. I like the atmosphere of it and how it felt like the game from what I played, so I thought the movie, um, I might get this when it goes on sale. My daughter tried to finesse me. She wanted me to buy this. She walked up to me like, but Daddy, since you're getting the movie, can I get this? <laughs> no, ma'am. 
uh, Crime to the Future. I still haven't watched that one yet. I heard kind of bad things about it, so I skipped it. It's actually kind of hard, even though I'm not a huge belly guy, but it's a steel book too, I believe. It's great time to see. Is there anything else on here that I want to get? Let me just browse the shelves before I head out. Like I said, I got what I needed, got what I wanted. Yeah, got everything. I think I'm gonna get this Blu-ray and get the heck out of here. Get this girl home. What are you doing? Hey, subscribe! <laughs> so we're back, and as you can see, I finally was able to get my hands on John Wick 4, the standard edition. Man, this is crazy, right? Because there's no movie in recent memory where it's been a struggle to get my hands on this movie. Like, in the prior ones where I was talking junk, right, about, you know, Shazam and all of that not being put on the shelves, that was just a, a, a shelving issue. And I've had that before. Like, sometimes I've gone to a lot of these stores when they first open, like 8 in the morning or whatever, and they haven't put stuff on the shelves yet, so they don't have it out. So that's different. Here, this movie was... was shelved but it was sold out completely and the reason i know that is because i planned to buy this movie earlier today and i even checked the stock to see where it was at usually what best buy will do is if there's only two or three left it'll tell you like hey two or three left come get it while it's hot they were fully stocked and this one in particular they were out of the 4k the steelbook and the standard blu-ray which is crazy so I can't think of a movie that was like that. And it's not just stores. Honestly, I have another copy of John Wick 4 coming. It's the box set on, from, that was exclusively released to Walmart. Haven't received it yet. But I waited too long and that thing sold out quick as hell. So I had to end up buying it from an eBay seller. Because a lot of eBay, eBay sellers, what they'll do is they'll pre-order themselves a few copies. They'll get them and then sell them on eBay for more. You know, it, 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 it wasn't a crazy amount more than what was on a Walmart version, but it was more than I wanted to pay. But I waited too long and it was sold out. So I had no choice but to get it because I really like the Walmart version for all the stuff that comes with it. It has like a slip box. It's not even a slip box. From what I saw, it's like an actual box, with like, like a regular box that you open up, like a container almost. And it has, it has a map of Paris. It has the character cards. It has the Continental card, and it has like a, a in, invitation from the Continental, I believe, I think it's the, the, the Ahsoka Hotel. I had to get that version. But with John Wick releasing today, I was like, I need to pick this one up too, because from what I saw, the 4K in the box set, it's just the 4K with no slip cover. It's, you know, it's just the movie as is. And I would have liked to come with a slip cover more. So I was like, you know what, what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to put this joint inside the box right along with, with, with the 4K so I can have all three. So pretty much it feels like I bought a version of the movie with all three. So I might have the 4K, I have the Blu-ray, and I believe this has the DVD. So I have all three copies, which is dope. And this is like one of the few times that I've literally bought doubles. As a matter of fact, this is the first time when I think about it, because I bought doubles over time, like I bought one copy, and then later down the line they released it, re-released something with like um, remastering or new cover art, and I bought that, but I'm literally buying doubles the day of, which is something I don't do, but this movie just deserves it so much because, again, I think, like all of these exclusive versions, like the Walmart thing sold out quick, this, the, the, the special edition steelbook from Best Buy sold out online. The Amazon one is sold out online. The Walmart one is sold out online. People are going crazy for this movie and it speaks to physical media and how many people still collect. So I really, really love it and I just had to get this slipcover. It's the standard version, you know. You can pretty much find this anywhere. Um, nothing special here. But I do like it. It kind of fits the rest of the slip covers from the other movies. So now I have the whole collection. And again, I bought this in the second one. And as I as, some, as I did like a like I did a few months ago, I bought the big Bible book of John Wick. So I had to get this right. And that's pretty much all I purchased today. Uh, I did all of this driving around to get my favorite film of the year so far. Don't know if it's gonna be topped. We shall see. But finally got this shit. And once I do get the other box, the Walmart exclusive, I will do an unboxing for that too next Tuesday because I believe I spoke to the seller and they said that they're going to get the box today 
or tomorrow and they're gonna ship it to me so I should have it by the weekend so be expecting that I'll open that one up and show you guys all the stuff I was talking about so since this was the only version of the movie that I did buy I figured I would just share a few items that I did get from Best Buy with y'all and like stores just just because it's fun you know we collectors we love this stuff man so this was a Best Buy exclusive that I bought last year sometime. I think I even posted a picture in the community about this one. It was like a picture with a bunch of them, but the slip cover is like see-through, so that's what it looks like. It's red, and then that's what the front looks like. Back, and this is Punisher Warzone, for those who don't know. Um, so far, I had to buy this. Um, this is an underrated Marvel movie, to be real. Like, I, I honestly love this movie. I remember going to see it in theaters with my wife, and it was just a good-ass time. This was like John Wick before John Wick, in a sense. Just the way that it handled things. The the, 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 the neon light, the neon noir look, the shoot 'em up crazy action. And rest in peace to Ray Stevenson, man. Sad to see him go at such a young age. Um, killed everything he did. And this was something less, like, I feel like, to me still, he is like the definitive comic book version of the Punisher and played the role so well. So I had to say that first. But I think I bought this thing on sale. I don't, do, and that's the good thing about the Best Buy steel books. They don't bust heads. Like a lot of the times, these steel books literally be like $20. Like they'd be like 20 or 15. So whenever they release something that I really, really want, I go ahead and scoop it up, man. Like this is, this is hard. I love this. Now these I didn't get from Best Buy. I ordered these off of Macari. Again, it's another place that you should shop if you want to find exclusive stuff. This Hellboy Steelbook, this joint is so hard. I've been wanting to show this off and I figured what better time than now than to show it off. This thing is fire. Oh my goodness. It's pretty plain on the inside and the back. Nothing really special, but this character art is just super duper mean. I love that. So I have an issue that sometimes I, I buy doubles of stuff. Like if there's a one version and then there's a sequel that's kind of the same. So I had to get Hellboy 2, it's the same version. And I believe both of these are actually Best Buy Steelbook specials as well, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm wrong, my bad, but I believe that this is also a Best Buy Steelbook. Got the knife on the back. Gorgeous. Woo. Inside. I had to get it. So I think that's it for the steel books that I um that, that I got from Best Buy and even the ones that I haven't shown. Cause I really just started getting into steel books the end of last year. I never was a steel book guy until I met my boy uh Darren, Mr. Cry now, laugh now, cry later. You follow him, um, he's on YouTube as well. But he's a huge steelbook guy. And I used to see steelbooks again. I, I have some here and there, like I have a Man of Steel steelbook. But I really just, the ones that I do have prior to last year were ones that I found I just caught on sale and the artwork kind of caught me. But now I actually go out of my way to like search like steelbook to see what that looks like because there's some dope art, man. But anyway, let me know what you cop today. Did you get your copy of John Wick Chapter 4? If you are an action junkie, that is a must. And which version did you get? Because there are a bunch of different versions, man. Like, I really wanted to get that Amazon Blu-ray 4K. It's got, it's like, it's, it's like white and pink and it's got cherry blossoms on it. But the shit's sold out. Like, they're not shipping that thing out until June 22nd. So I was like, damn, I wanted to get that. I might still get it. Like, this might be the first movie that I have a bunch of different versions in a short amount of, amount of time because the artwork for these things are just super fire so uh, let me know which version did you get and what else did you cop what are your most recent stupids that you love again if you like this kind of content make sure to like and subscribe and if you already are subscribed thank you until next time peace Rap nerd productions no capping that's word to mommy instead of banking on it no rapping is just a hobby